Good evening, friends. Cartoon Mark here. Yeah, this is going to be a book review, a cartoonist book review of Lou Darvis. Uh, we're here in upstate New York, September 5th, and it's still, it's a little chilly now out here, but we're still hanging on the summer. So we're out in the yard here, reading some books, and I just thought I'd share this one with you because it's worth mentioning. You may not know who Lou Darvis is, um, but you may have seen his work. I came to know Lou Darvis. Um, I, I saw his work. He's actually was known to me as a sports cartoonist, and I, uh, back in my days, believe it or not, was a, a, a little basketball player in grade school, and we would go to Siena games here and um, SUNY Albany games, occasionally the college games, and I would see, you know, flyers with his work on it. I didn't know it was him at the time, and it was, uh, uh, you'd see signage or uh, posters mainly, sports uh, of, uh, of, of basketball players. And I, re I rediscovered him while I was doing one of the the biggest gigs, caricature gigs of my career is a three-day event at the Albany Times Union Center. It's called the Albany Auto Show, and it's a big sports complex, event complex. And on the wall was this magna red, magma colored, pink, Pepto-Bismol colored old sign poster of the Albany Patroons signed and I'm looking at the signature and it's Lou Darvis I'm like Lou Darvis who is this I need to know this guy because his cartoons had so much action in it it was almost like a Jack Davis type if you know Jack Davis from Mad Magazine I mean look at the feet here guys but I want to get to his sports cartoons. And that's how I rediscovered him, by having a caricature gig. I drew three days in a row for the Albany Auto Show, and they wanted every caricature customer in a car. So I had to draw the cars ahead of time and then put the caricatures in the car. Um, so look at the action. Lou Darvis, I really like his action. Like, look at his guy with the shovel. You can tell he's really shoveling that dirt and it all starts with a stick figure guys that, that's how I do it you know let me look at the action so you can see here we're getting into some running poses and you can just see the sports like basketball players football players within these bodies you know this guy is definitely worth a mention. Gets into drawing kids, animals. That's where I need to work on is my animals. Because a lot of people sit down and ask me, hey, can you put my dog or cat in it? And I'm like, ugh. So I gotta work on that. But he's got fashion, women, stuff like that. Um, let's get to some sports stuff. I think there's some sports up here. There's got to be. So just a quick flip through. He's got the boxers. Yeah, he, he did. Here we go. <laughs> um, I love that stuff. Uh, he even has stuff on caricature. Hmm. I got to look at this. I was mainly looking at his uh, action poses, but I should really check out his caricatures. It's all related. But I'm not seeing a lot of sports stuff. Let me see. I can find it. Yeah, here's <laughs> some of it. He did a lot of, there we go. Hockey, football. He only has a small, he only has a small section on that sports. But he was really, I think that's what he was mostly known for, to be honest with you. If you ask me. So, check out Lou Darvis if you want to, uh, have your cartoons uh, show some action. I highly recommend it. 
And it's just a quick flip through of Lou Darvis. I would pay attention to back here with the stick figure drawings and then fleshing it out. Um, I'm going to really look at these and, and clothing and the way clothing falls on the body. That's important too. Look at who's showing you the creases. Uh, these are all little subtleties that you should be paying attention to. All right. I mean, just look at the action here. This is a big guy yelling at a little guy. The head's flying, the hat's flying off. I mean, that's just so simple, but it, it works. And uh, uh, this is uh, Lou Darvis. You can draw cartoons. I could not find many books on him or many books. I think this might be the only one he put out. I, I have no idea. Drop a comment if you know anything else about this artist. I'd love to know it. Uh, I don't know if he's based up here in the Northeast, in the New York, New Jersey area, I'm guessing. But uh, I came to know him from uh, being around the basketball teams and seeing his work in, on flyers. I mean, guys, there was no internet in the 80s. I mean, in the 70s and 80s, you would walk by, you'd see a poster on a, on a gym hall, a window. And you say, oh, when's that? there's that game. You know, it's just stuff like that. I just love, like, church bulletins, like paper bulletins that you would get at the end of church, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, Lou Darvis. This is Cartoon Marks signing off. Thank you.